There's a bit of a problem with the face. Perfect. Bro, why are they beatboxing? Is this a JoJo reference? This video is sponsored by Squarespace, where you can create a website in minutes. Cool, but also, he's looking a bit too much like a BL protagonist. Did this guy really just redraw my whole drawing and then make him bald and also a cowboy? I can't draw clothes. It's good to be self-aware. Don't get me wrong, the art is good, but like, that shade of yellow just reminds me of the color of urine. Why would you ever use that shade of piss? Bro, this guy's head is even bigger than Jimmy Neutron's. I can't tell if those are abs or um, bowling balls. The Debbie Ryan meme. What? This was supposed to be the Debbie Ryan meme? No, this is not. You failed to capture the essence of the Debbie Ryan smirk, which is the seductive eyes and seductive smirk. 2 out of 10. The face is okay, but uh, the hair just reminds me of my dog's fur. This is Megamind if he was yassified and a human. It's giving James Charles bald hair anyways. This guy drew hands. I don't know about you guys, but that deserves recognition. 9 out of 10. I haven't drawn in 6 months, help. And it shows. I need advice, this looks wrong. The main thing about this artwork is the proportions, right? What you want to do is use this little liquify tool and make those juicy lips just a little softer and just touch up the coloring just a little bit to brighten the face. But anyway, the main thing to focus on is the proportions. Anyway, redraw. First 2022, second 2020. I'm really glad that you redrew it because the old one looked like a biblically accurate angel. Are the lips juicy enough? Yes, however, it seems like you shifted all your effort on making the lips juicy. The hair, however, looks like pink spaghetti. Messy. Ignore the hands. Bro, how the heck am I supposed to ignore the hands when they're literally blocking the face? Bro. Jeez, I think he needs a manicure. Try to do a semi-realistic Anya. Are you sure? She kind of looks a little bit traumatized. And what the heck is that Shrek green color? Okay, the thing about semi-realism is that you don't have to draw all the realistic stuff, okay? You don't have to draw this thing above the lips, and you don't have to draw the nostrils so big like that. You just have to imagine that this character is 3D, and when you do that, you can simplify everything. Also, one tip about your coloring, if you're gonna use that awful green Shrek color into your painting, you might want to balance everything out as well. If you want to make your drawing pastel, make everything pastel. Decide on an aesthetic and stick to it. Never use that Shrek green color again on this channel. Ah yes, this is what my back looks like after drawing for 5 hours straight. Juicy lips. Okay, uh, this is very creepy. Is she seductively holding her own leg? This is an accurate representation of what my singular brain cell looks like. Juicy lips. Ooh, the colors are really crisp. My eyes are burning right now, but 10 out of 10. Is this a JoJo reference? Happy birthday, Uncle Syme. Redrew an old drawing I did for him years back. I'm at the point where I don't know if I'm happy with my art or not, but oh well. Wow, you really improved, but you're still edgy. Annie, Attack and Titan, 20 minutes. It shows. Okay, beginners, if there's one thing you must avoid, you have to stop drawing those chicken lines. Focus on confident lines instead. There are so many things happening in this picture. Why is his hair wet? Why is there lightning inside of his eyes? Why does he have abs on his chest? But despite these very juicy lips he got there. Carden Eldred Greenbrier. Okay, that is the edgiest name ever. By you, I am forever undone. Uh-huh. I love how you put more effort in doing the lettering than you did in the drawing. We interrupt this program to bring you Squarespace. Now, if you're an artist, a businessman, or any pro, you gotta have a website, okay? Not just because it looks cool, but also, come on guys, you wanna get that bag. You can set up your own merch store or make paid content or subscriptions. They've also got a built-in editor. Squarespace already got website templates and extensions that make your website look professional. You can even sell on Instagram using Squarespace. So if you want to 
check Squarespace out. Head on over to squarespace.com slash coolin to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using code coolin. Okay, going back. Okay, but I can't help focusing on the eye on the bottom left. Why is it so unyassified? Bro, where are the eyelashes at? Oh, look, fan art. I look so yassified. You really yassified me. 10 out of 10. Ooh, the abs are really defined. My reaction to this picture. Ooh la la. What is that writing on the drawing? 2 out of 100. Oh, I guess you already rated your drawing yourself. Ooh, I can tell you followed my advice for my previous video. Except that little green color. What is it with people adding this very strong Shrek green color randomly? Like, like it's not even a joke anymore. It's literally repulsive. Let's not talk about her earrings. Indeed. Happy 600k subs on YouTube. I'm actually at 700k subs now, but thank you. What can I say? I guess people just love me. You gave me roses. 10 out of 10. Semi-realism, first time. What a beautiful, semi-realistic Batman costume. I DK about Kuleen, but I definitely roast this. Okay? Okay. Rude. Oh, nice rendering. The hair clips look like golden cockroaches. Why do I feel like the face gets worse every time I look at it? Listen, it's not the face that's the problem, okay? It's the hair. Whip study of female faces. Huh, okay. My reaction to that information. I love this run BTS episode so much. Love this pose. Hope you like it. Bro, why are they beatboxing? I hate it so much when people slap on this sliver of light. Like, it doesn't even make sense. It's not even 3D. Get good. Tried another art style today. No, no, this is multiple art styles in one picture. Okay, well, the blending on the face is a bit questionable, but it's okay. If you're gonna shade, shade with defined blocks. But otherwise, the skin should be smooth. Okay, so before and after. Okay, cool. Next. Bro, that does not look like a horn. It looks more like a white tongue. Ew. Hmm. She looked better when she didn't have eyes. Mr. Captain America. You sure? Cause like he kinda looks more like Gru but with hair. First off, the coloring is cool, okay? But like the hands are awful tiny. It's supposed to be as big as your face, okay? And I know some people are gonna be testing that out with a hand that they use to scratch their butts, but like... Also, the head is a bit tilted, but it's nothing a little liquefy can't fix. Just liquefy it a bit and there we have it. I like how this guy just slapped their signature across the entire drawing drawn for someone on Twitter. Always put your signature like this if someone tells you that they'll pay you through exposure. Bro, you literally obliterated those hands. Okay, here's a little tip for drawing hands, okay? The middle finger is always the longest. So this is the reference, right? So you're just gonna trace this just to see the length of the fingers. So on the index finger here, you can notice it's too long. So you can just fix that. And then bam, thank me later. I hope Colleen and or Sam puts this in one of their vids to love or roast my art. Well, unfortunately for you, I'm gonna have to choose the latter because I'm a mean girl. So let me get this straight. You already had the perfect reference and yet you still managed to screw up the hair. Typical. Okay, here's a little tip, okay? The reference is easy to break down. You can just split it up into three sections like this. I've said this so many times before, but y'all don't like listening, I guess. So all you need to do is to just do that. And then for the highlights, it's literally right there. Just a bunch of zigzags like this. See? You're welcome. Okay, well, there's a bit of a problem with the face. Perfect. Hope you enjoyed this video. Click this next and I'll see you there. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Stay cool.